Hi guys, this is Katja with Creators Image Studio. Today I'm doing a video tutorial with you all. Let me first show you what we are going to create. Now this is a, well, what I would like to call sort of a doodle fold card, by which I mean I was just like doodling with my paper, folding it, fiddling around with it, and then suddenly I had this card. Well, not suddenly, but you know what I mean. So it's a happy birthday card. I stamped it, stickled it, decorated the whole thing. But, uh, well, what is this beast? Let me show you. So it's held together, it's held closed with this clip here, which I attached to a piece of chain and then a brad here. So let's fold it open. There's room for a little tag here, which I haven't done yet, but you know, you can put it here, you can do a picture here or just leave it as is, let people enjoy the beautiful design paper. And then you fold it open like that. So there's a surprise, right? You could, of course, uh, glue this closed here so you have a pocket, two pockets. But I thought this was quite a nice surprise. You could write a message uh, on practically every surface, especially if you would add like a piece of cardstock or another layer of design paper that is more plain so you can write on it. So I'm just showing you the shape here. I uh, haven't added the cardstock yet because I'm not sure whether I'm going to do pictures or decorations or text only. You could do also like a letter or something. Uh, well, you know what I mean. You can uh, check out how it looks open on both sides. So you just fold it close and look at the asymmetric shape here. I love that. Fold it closed again. And then there's your nice little clip here, which will keep the whole thing together like that. You could, of course, do a belly band or a magnet closure. Belly band would be a special challenge because of the slanted uh, corners here. So uh, how wide would you have to uh, make it right? But it is possible, I guess. But I chose a different uh, kind of closure. So we are going to create this card today and I will focus on the base. And so not the decorating because, well, I will show you uh, the method that I use to, uh, to cut these shapes because every surface area has its own angles, its own measurements. So they are all unique. So I will show you the method, but I will not actually mat it on camera. That would take too long and I'm just uh, teaching you how to fish, as it were. So there we go. So you take a piece of A4 paper, and if you are in a country that has different measurements, I will put the measurements below. And I guess you could also use letter size. So letter size, it's a slightly different size than the A4. But, well, as I'm going to share with you, this is not the type of card that needs measurements. So it doesn't really matter the exact measurements of your piece of paper. Because, as I told you, I am uh, calling this sort of a doodle folding card. Because I was just playing around with my paper and then uh, decided, oh well, let's turn this uh, thing into a card. So what I did is first choose an angle to make the first fold. Now this first fold has to be on the longest, uh, well, axis as it were, but not a straight across, but draw an imaginary line between my fingers somewhere along those lines. And I'm not gonna be precise because I was doodling around. So I'm gonna doodle around now. It may turn out a little bit different than this because uh, every card will be unique if you do it this way. So just uh, choose a random angle for your card. And the only other tool you need is a pair of scissors. So no glue except for the matting, etc. So here is your first fold. And now you're gonna do a second fold and this second fold will be sort of folding it in half. So you are going to take this uh, folded line here and, uh, well, just focus on the middle or, you know, guesstimate it and just fold it over like this. So 
So there you go. So you're folding it open again. Because now you're going to decide which will be your front and which will be your back. And I am thinking and looking because when I fold this closed, this doesn't really look like this. So I probably have to go the other way around. So let's try that. So I'm doodling actually, guys. Doodling with my folds here. How about this? Doodling again. So this is actually how I came up with it. I think this is the closest I've got so far. So here's one, two, three, and here's one, two, three. Now I hear you thinking, hey, these are sticking out and this is not the case here. And that's correct because we're not done yet. So let me reinforce these new folds. So as it turned out, I uh, turned every fold inside out, as it were, as you saw me do just now. And you can see that I was doodling because these are completely different uh, me measurements here. You see, this is longer than this one here, but that doesn't matter. And now I'm going to use my scissors to cut along this line here. So just uh, like this, just cut it off. So this is in fact your base. Now, if you are not satisfied, if you really want different measurements here, you could just, you know, fold it open again and try different angles, but then you would get double fold. So I suggest you just take another piece of paper or what I did with the, before I created this one is just take a piece of printer paper, which is, you know, the white paper, much lighter than cardstock and just, you know, rummage around with those until you're satisfied and then you could even measure if you wanted to but uh, I don't mind. So this is actually the base of my card so it's as simple as that. So here you go folding it open. Every surface area is different from the other one. So now uh, I will show you the method of matting these areas. So I'm not actually going to mat them because it will take too much time but I will teach you the trick. Uh, so if you have a design uh, paper pad, six by six inches like I have here, this is actually the pad that I use to uh, decorate this card. And it is by Studio Light. It's a Dutch brand. I think they will sell internationally. Here is their website. And this is the number of their paper pad. So paper pad Studio Light number five. Now what I did is I folded it open and uh, choose the, the corner that is straight. So there are four 90 degree corners here in the center because all of these are slanted. So you, you start here, this is your starting point. So you need a pencil and a ruler. So these are your tools now. And then you uh, put your design paper in the, in the corner here and then you place it like you would mat. So that is leaving a small margin like this. I like my margins very, very small. This is, uh, I think, two millimeters, so this is even smaller than uh, one eighth of an inch. I'm guessing it would be about uh, three sixteenth or something. So you do that uh, here and here as well. So small margins. And now you place your pencil at the spot that you would cut. So again, like the small margin here, so mark it like that. And now you need to find the other places. So here's another one. So that I would cut like here. So don't move your paper. And now it's the tricky part. So you fold it open. And now you need to uh, have some light behind it. So I'm going to use my light like there. So you can see the silhouette, right? You can see the corner of the paper. Now I'm holding the camera with one hand and using the other hand to hold the card. So I cannot show you the pencil. 
uh, marking but I think you catch my drift right so you use your pencil to actually draw the corner of the paper there so there you go so I drew the corner here so that is taking into account the small margin so the silhouette of the paper was actually here okay so now I have three markings I have one here I have one there and I have one here so now I'm going to use my ruler find my markings so place my ruler and then draw a pencil line up until there and do the same with the uh, the other so like this and then draw I'm not drawing actually because I decided just now that I'm not going to use this paper but some other paper so I will show you the end result but this is the method right so Again, I will repeat what I did. So you find the straight corner like this, taking into account the margins that you want. Mark it, mark it, and then with the silhouetting, with the light behind it, uh, mark it for the corner here. Draw lines with your rulers and then simply cut with your scissors and then you have a perfect mat. And you do the same with the other surfaces so again this is always your starting point because of the straight corner and your paper is straight as well so here you start like this and then you mark it mark it silhouetting it marking here and again here mark 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 with the silhouette here so the corner is always uh, you know with the light behind it and using the silhouette of the paper and here the fourth one so here here and then here is the corner somewhere so this is the method of matting your card and then you will get the desired result that I showed you right here and you can even do some scrap matting and those of you who've been following me for a while now know what I mean with a scrap mat so it's matted with scraps and these are very tightly put together and I have a free video tutorial on how to create the scrap mats so you make a scrap mat and then you cut it to size just the same way as I showed you just now so you can play around with uh, scraps and uh, I did the same thing here on the front I think I used like five or six different pieces of paper on the front just to mat it and then decorated it with the uh, some more paper, some banners, some uh, ribbons, etc. So it's a very, very, very easy uh, way to make a card that is uh, very sophisticated. It looks very sophisticated. It's a surprise for the recipient because you will even be able to write a complete letter or show some pictures. It's a beautiful layout like this. You can add some cardstock if you want to write and make it clear when your cardstock is like with a very busy pattern like this one here you can glue it together if you want to have pockets you can add pockets like this one you can fold it in uh, well many different ways as I just showed you in the tutorial and you can do different kinds of closures so just play around with your paper and play around with your uh, decorations so this is my second edition very 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 simple so no paper trimmer required and the only tools you really need are your ruler, your pencil, your bone folder and a pair of scissors and then of course all of your decorations. And as I say goodbye to you, uh, you can see the end result of the card that I just made in the tutorial and I used some lovely design paper for that.
with that said, I hope you like this design and I hope you like this tutorial, guys. So here is the two cards. And it's amazing how different they look just by simply varying the design paper collections and the embellishments. So uh, a black base and a cream base and different kinds of closure. So this type of card is very versatile and it will give you all kinds of options. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more. So uh, let me know what you think and I will see you next time. Bye bye!